seeing very good plays at that end right now for today, because everything is attacked on the broken. Plenty of heavy weight to work with, and we can call that uh, your, your, your max now. But it's, it'll be a artificially low ceiling, but that's okay. okay? I know you're next time you do this, maybe in a few hours, 30, 40 times, or 40 times. Because it takes some exploratory, you would, you would never know. Well, if, you do, if you did this in a couple of weeks, that smaller jump. You'd probably go here, 185, 225, 275, and get there sooner, right as opposed to kind of feeling it out. Make sense? Yeah, that's a good place to end up for today. All right, back home from CrossFit on the second day. Uh, I didn't uh, do a, a video of uh, pre-workout, but uh, went back, did a bunch of front squats today, did um, a Metcon that had some, some clusters in there, um, running, uh, not a lot of running, or not a long distance running, but it was a lot of 200 meter runs. Um, so basically like 10 clusters, 200 meter, eight, 200, six, 200, four, you get it, all the way down to two. Uh, 13 minute cap. I uh, was dying, uh, but ended up finishing at about 12 minutes and 57 seconds. So I actually finished it. And it was definitely a put water on your head kind of day. As you can tell, I just went over to the uh, to the sink and just put water all over my head. And uh, just to cool off, because I could barely stand up, but uh, at least I finished it. Um, anyway, um, Feeling good, had a great talk with my coach, and I uh, just can't stress enough, if you're out there and you don't have any direction, go find a good coach or, or multiple people that encourage you to do the right thing all the time, even when the going gets tough. And also someone who's not afraid to tell you that you need to do it differently or, or, or be better while still not discouraging you because you know someone telling you you're not doing something correctly can be very discouraging. But you wanna find people that know how to say it and know how to keep you motivated. Um, you know, I, I think you know what I'm saying. I mean, it's it's easy to fall into the trap of uh, of wanting to give up because things get hard. And um, like they always say, nothing worth doing is is easy. So anyway, just keep going. Um, I'm gonna keep going. Um, I fell off track on some of the stuff that I was doing. Like I was doing the uh, 25 push-ups, 25 squats, 25 uh, sit-ups every day. Um, I did that for two weeks straight and then for the last like two two or three weeks i haven't done it at all so i'm going to get back on track with that i'm going to get better on my nutrition uh, keep making improvements there and then uh also a uh, big weakness of mine is when i go on the road which is about half the time i uh, don't do anything when i'm on the road uh in the way of exercising at all so i need to find time I need to make time for that and not just uh make the excuse of there's no time because there's always time you just got to make it so Anyway, back on track, uh, staying on track, even if there's a lull, uh, don't, don't get discouraged, keep going. Um, and if you do get discouraged, make sure you surround your pe yourself with people that uh, are going to help you pull through it. So anyway, I'll uh, keep on track and let's see how this ends up. Good luck on whatever you're doing. And uh, if anyone's watching this, comment and let me know, uh, let me know how you're doing. Let me know what you're doing. And because um, I think it'd be cool to see what other people are doing and how they're staying motivated and encouraged and looking at improvements and how they're improving and all that. So anyway, long story short, let me know. Let me know what you're doing. <laughs> Thanks. Talk to you next time.